Welcome back to another episode of Irumakun, and this is gonna be the Dodgeball episode. A quick recap before I got into it to refresh my mind what happened. It was just basically a training arc, right? But the most important thing about during this training arc is Iruma does have all the qualities to become the main character protagonist of a shonen story. Even though I think Saburo, you know, is like the most stereotypical one. The most important thing is Iruma has the will to continuously just work hard. He has to work ethic and he doesn't seem to give up. And that's a really good mindset. Opera and I think Sullivan made note of that when they saw how hard Iruma was working. And at the end, all he really did was catch the dodgeball, right? And that's- but he got one, but it's really big thing for him because He's just like intuitively always been dodging everything. That's his entire life. Dodging everything. It's really hard. Imagine having to reprogram your brain to override that natural instinct that you have to dodge. And instead, just kind of put your hand there and catch it. Now, the catching part is interesting because Sullivan reinforced Iruma's hands. Is this temporary? Is this permanent? Could he do it to the rest of his body? And the magic spell. What was it? Ribero, I think. Libero. A fucking dragon comes out. In the f it's not even thoughtful. We're just shooting this dragon. We're gonna kill somebody. But, but, I want Libero to come out during this match at like a really crucial point in time. I don't know if the dodgeball match is gonna be between like all the other classes because I thought it'd be just class D against each other, but I guess that doesn't really make much sense. I hope the entire school's involved and I hope that everybody is watching because Edom is gonna show some kind of ridiculous greatness that no one has seen again. And his ranking is gonna go all the way to something like a bet, probably just one to two. Something. I, this is my guess, right? We can't give him too much credit, even though he's ridiculous. The circumstances of achievements is kind of skewed in his favor due to Sullivan's help and all the other bullshit because he's a human, right? Because of that something will happen. Even though Iruma did amazing, uh, something will happen to the point where he doesn't rise like like 10 different ranks, right? He'll rise probably just one because again, of something that happens that kind of discredits his effort, but the entire school will see how ridiculous Yuruma is, right? Let's get started with today's episode. Okay, it's the day of the match. Okay, I'm so excited for this man. <laughs> How's your condition? Are you in peak performance right now? Nervous, probably, yeah. I mean, if you're playing against other demons, you know, they got some ridiculous powers. And they were also using magic. So I guess magic is allowed in this dodgeball match, right? Isn't that my tea you're drinking? A life hack. I want to hear a life hack. To get over your fears, imagine everybody wearing underpants or something. Uh, okay. You can never have fear in this demon world. Mmm. I know Opera just saying this casually, but I feel like this is like a really important mechanic. Like, you should never be scared. The more you should be upfront. Turn your fear into excitement. Alright. Yes, it says T is drinking it. <laughs> mm. Oh, the ponytail is up. Again, when it's tied up, it's serious mode. He looks pretty cool like this though. Silence. Alright. A cute board again. He's gonna fuck this thing up after. <laughs> and this hard thing is always jittering so much. You can use magic though, so Libera is in play. And Karego! <laughs> Fuck that cute thing. It's such a cute explanation thing though. Oh no! Different team! Azaz! Different team! <laughs> Clara's in our team though. Uh oh. Karego, how could you do this? How could you split us apart? Sabro's in our team. He's gonna savage his, sabotage his own team, really? Alright, let's go. Six on six. So, it's it's wise to hit everybody else. I feel like Sabro's such an idiot, he'll get hit without dodging. Yeah, I feel like he's just gonna get hit. I don't know. Yeah, like this! <laughs> Please, dude, come on. You Use your head. Sabro, come on. You know the rules of the game, right? I feel like he's like, is that your best shot? Get hit and then go out. Jazz. Oh, he stole it! He's in the yellow team, though. When did he... How did he cra- Magic. Okay, Sabro, let's go. Oh? That's right, magic is allowed. So it's probably just gonna like, go through them ice though. Oh my god. Out! Her name is Kero- Oh! That's safe, right? But if this- If he catches it- this, Oh, you're gonna give the ball to us? Thank you. 
And he's out instantly. <laughs> Our resident simp master. Kamui is his name. Gotcha. Mm. There's so many... <laughs> it's distractions. Which one is the real one? We can't just use this. Oh, there are balls everywhere. Why did it go to her though to say that? <laughs> Alright, now we gotta actually find the ball though. Like, this is a tactical... Oh? No, that's not the right ball. What do you mean? That's not even the ball. <laughs> He's gonna throw it regardless? That's rugby. What are you playing? You foot, you're playing football or rugby right now? Uh huh. And catch. Nice. But do you land in or. Wait, wait. I feel like he might have landed outside. Sabro, please. What do you do? Look at your head. Okay, I guess Edom is still in. Sabro, give the ball. There you go. Yes. Give it to Sabro, honestly. There you go. Nice one. Nice one. Yes. This is how it should be done. Teamwork. You're gonna get Azaz out? Yeah, he's thinking about how you can win, Sam, bro. <laughs> he, that, honestly, that might be true. Azaz probably did lose his edge, consider... Well, I mean... Not in terms of dodgeball, he's still in! I was talking about his overall attitude to grow, but... Are you out? Sam, bro, you're out like that? To a daydreaming Azaz... Well, he can still attack from outside. Oh, is it just gonna be Azaz and Iruma at the very end then? Uh huh. Oh. He's still thinking. He didn't even know what the game was happening. He's like, huh? How did this happen? Oh shit. Azaz versus Iruma. And we've still got half the episode left. True. Or you could just step outside out of bound. Oh, he's serious. He's so serious right now. Yeah? Did Azaz kind of notice the seriousness? How serious Iruma is being? He doesn't want to like uh, disrespect him. So he too will go all out? Rubbish. That would be cheap. Yeah. Having a realization that, you know, he's been working so hard. It would be so cheap to just like go easy, right? Yeah, Iruma is trying so hard. You can't give it half ass, man. But also, if he goes all out, if he goes all out, though, I. Uh, uh oh, the familiar? Is he gonna summon the familiar? Or is it just his flame magic? I don't know how flames are exactly gonna help with throwing the ball, but. Etiquette. Oh, the jacket is off. Still got the vest, though. Okay! Amiri! Oh. And the other student council is coming to see the highlights of the match right now. Mm -mm. Doesn't care about Asmodeus, not one bit. The other one. Even more interesting. Hmm. His malice is even more than that. That's how much he's respecting you right now. <laughs> Claire just fell off. But you can just dodge this though. I feel like catching this is too much. Why, why don't you just dodge? If you catch and he goes out, then I get it. But if it's not the case, just dodge. Walking towards it. I mean, I don't know if he literally meant up front. But that this does stop the peak speed of the ball if he catches it early. No, 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 no. There is, he, he might be actually smart doing this. Closing the distance for a long-range attack. Oh, okay. How far are we gonna get pushed back? If we didn't, if we didn't walk all the way forward, we would have been pushed out of bounds. I hope Amity is watching this right now. I'm surprised he can catch this full on. I mean, Sullivan did reinforce his like arms, but come on! Hmm? Pivoting the momentum, he spanned it around. He spun it around to, I guess, like redirect the momentum of the ball, just going straight. Kanago, are you impressed? Jump. Use the power to throw right back at him. This is like a 720 flip. Parry. Oh! And this, it grazed him, but does it count? Kinda go. Where's the referee? Referee! Does it count or not? Amity, were you watching? She was watching. Good, 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 good. Aw, oh, she's proud. Is he out? Okay, he's out. 
He looks a little bit upset saying that. He's like, God damn it, he won again. But like, whatever, teammate wins. Oh? Yeah. Yeah, he, yeah, that was smart. That was really smart to close the distance. Conserve all that momentum. Spin it. Throw it right back. Yeah. Was that all instinct? Like, was that all instinct for him to spin around like that? I mean, he has parried attacks before using other people's momentum, so yeah. Evasion as an attack. It's pretty good. Karigo, come on, that's your master, man. Good job. Rank up? What, what, what rank did you get? Just two. We only get rank two now. Oh, he knew that Azaz might have done that. Rank three, come on. Okay, whatever, whatever. We'll take it. We'll get it. We did rank up. That's the most important thing. We're moving forward. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's the audience right now. That's us right now. Come on. Boo, boo. <laughs> Silence. Because all his hard work led up to this. And he's getting rewarded for it. This is an achievement and comp. Oh, and then we're getting a congratulations. Let's go. That's one of the best feelings, man. Working so hard at a goal and accomplishing it. That truly is fulfilling. Like the meaning of life. And Amity was the one that was able to help you know, set on this path, you know, finding his own ambitions, his own goals, right? He gave him a ring, right? The gluttonous ring instead. Oh, Grandpa's gonna be like, <gasps> ears perking up. Gramps is a little bit jealous. <laughs> Why do I feel such envy? I helped you trading too. <laughs> I mean, I'll print it a lot more than you. <laughs> I didn't do like <laughs> We did teach him Liberu and they did nothing. <laughs> oh wait, I didn't do anything after. <laughs> Your answer is actually so funny. He's starting to realize the meaning of life to have your own fulfillment through goals. Rank Beto! Nice, nice, nice. And again, at the end of the day, this rank, although it is kind of insignificant in the grand scheme of things, in the grand scheme of things, it actually doesn't matter because, again, it's not about what rank we got. It's about the fact that Iruma was able to realize his own goals, what he wanted to work towards, work hard at it, succeed, and realize, wow, this is what it's like to actually live, to have my own ambitions, right? Amity was the key to kind of make him realize that through the goal of let's level up, right? And Azaz and Clara, everybody kind of like talked him into it too, right? But again, this bet rank doesn't really matter. I know he's much more than that, right? Everybody does. But what's more important, again, I mentioned before, is how the owl is the one that gives the bats before, in the beginning, to determine your first strength, the owl did. But after that, I guess Karigo just hands out badges afterwards. I thought the owl would come back, and then I was like, thinking of, how would Iduma get another badge if he never got one from the beginning? Would he get another ring? I don't know. Are there more rings? Because Sabro mentioned, this is like King Solomon's ring or something, I forget. And then later it was identified more specifically as the gluttonous feeder ring. Therefore, this might be a one ring out of many rings. I don't know. Maybe, maybe. This dodgeball match wasn't as exactly as I expected. I thought there'd be more people involved, other classes. But this is fine it's in itself too, and right? And the fact that he didn't need to throw because he can use other people's like strength in favor. Like the way that he kind of did the... Like, didn't he like do like a judo flip too before? Well, that was more of a summer... That was more of like a suplex using Gramps as like a forbidden spell where he couldn't trip. But Inuma being able to use his evasion, his defense, as offense, right? Very handy. And it's kind of a shadow in how he's going to fight in the future. Also, when we need to... When we need the big guns, we got Libero just on, you know, on standby too, right? Amiri and Inuma. They're... They're... I don't think there's anything romantic between them. I don't think so. I think it's anything, it's it's more of admiration from Iruma to Amiri, and Amiri kind of thinks Iruma is very interesting because he is a human after all, right? <laughs> Clara getting jealous is so funny too, but maybe that is, I, again, I, I think Cla Clara is just like a platonic friend, but then again, she did say, I'll make you fall he like, uh, what was it? Head over heels for me, right? And uh, there was a little bit of Doki moment for Iruma too, but the main thing about Shonen series isn't the romance part. Even the romance can be a little minor part, and that's not the main part, right? We're not here to do shifts, but eh, shifts are fun to kind of craft here and there. Anything else that happened? 
I think the highlight of the episode, other than eating my throat, was Grandpa Sullivan at the end realizing, Why? Why isn't he thanking me? Why is it only opera? I feel jealous. But after all- Oh, right. I didn't do shit. <laughs> the comedy hits so good in this show. But hey, if you stick around this long, if you don't enjoy my reaction, you already know what I'm going to say. Check out the other videos and playlists to my channel. If you watch another video immediately after this one, it helps you to buckle pursue my small channel to recommend it so that I have a chance to compete with some of your favorite reactors. Until next time, guys, take care.